So what we got here is Samsung Fascinate with the ice cream sandwich on it. As you can see the home screen there when you have it in the desktop cradle. Shows you the time. Pretty cool. You can press this. Dims it down. Looks real nice with the Super AMOLED display. Um, one cool thing is you can check your notifications here. You'll find it useful, especially if you have the desktop mount. Um, of course, if I had some notifications up here, we could just dismiss them. Get right to your settings from here if you wanted to. While in the desktop mount, the home button, of course, brings you back to the clock. Alright, so what we've got here is the Fascinate ice cream sandwich build on it. Um, as you can see, typical stuff that you've all probably seen in the Galaxy Nexus videos out there. Um, runs pretty smooth. we got the app drawer there. Scroll sideways there. You go through your widgets and your apps. Pretty smooth. Um, obviously, we can add a shortcut there to the desktop. Maybe one of your home screens. Create a folder if you want. All the same things that everybody has seen many of times if you watched videos on the Galaxy Nexus. Um, as far as performance goes, I'd say it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty obvious that the soft keys weren't going to make it into um, the phones that actually have the capacitive touch buttons there, as you can see. Um, if we hold down the home button there, it'll bring you to your um, your fast app switcher there, and we can obviously dismiss the, the apps um, or select a different one there. Um, Browser is pretty good. It's probably faster than the stock browser. You've got your your windows that you can you can do there. For the most part, um, bring up the keyboard here. Um, you can see pretty responsive. Oh no, pretty good. I'd say the Fascinate is well capable of handling ice cream sandwich, and if that's the case in any Galaxy S smartphone should be able to handle it as well. Whether or not they actually get upgraded to an ice cream sandwich, that's yet to be seen. Um, if I was a Fascinate owner, I probably wouldn't hold my breath there. In case you're wondering what the menu button does on, the, um, on your home screen here, it's just similar to the way it was in the older builds of Android. Um, you've got a shortcut here to go to your system settings. A um, couple other shortcuts, manager apps right there. And then the last one there is a setting for the launcher, but there is no settings in there. So that's it. You want to hear more? Um, leave some messages in the comments. Thanks.